Well, that's interesting uh, that uh, down on the ground level, uh, John, that they suggest that maybe uh, the wind's not favouring either end. I thought towards the end of that quarter it may have favoured Footscray, but we'll soon see in this quarter. Good mark by Cameron. Still inside the centre square. His left leg will bring on the right side too, because where they want it out here. Had so many injuries this year, just playing his sixth game. Kicks down, worry in front of Hargraves. Barker, dispossessed, gets the ball out to Chandler. Atkins tells Dent to kick it wide. Liberatore ducks in. So Tony Liberatore has had five possessions. He's kicked the goal. Hang on. Free kick against John Barker. He's going to Steve Collin. You're behind the play there, KB. So again, a discipline play there by Fitzroy. Just giving up kick away. And they just cannot afford to do this. This could be the second goal from undisciplined actions. Well, he's had a couple of chances to kick goals in the first quarter, Stephen Collinook. Just has the uh, one behind. So from just inside 50, he's kicked it. That's a much better start by Footscray there. Well, a good start in the second quarter because they were clearly on top in the first. And it just seems like the pattern may continue. And that's some of these Fitzroy boys who just stand up and be counted now and have a real crack at this game. If they don't, Putzrow will get right on top of them. Well, they really must get on top of the discipline side of things if they're going to have any sort of a chance in this game, because that's two goals to uh, Putzrow from undisciplined action from the Fitzroy defenders. As again, the ball is kicked out of the uh, centre there by Putzrow into the forward line where Hargraves spilt the mark. It really was an uncontested mark in the end. And John Rombottis is having to kick the ball to, towards the boundary line in front of the member stand. Now that's where McCartney should have been. They, the forwards should be down offering. But the boy had nothing to kick to. He had to go to the boundary. The forwards aren't working hard enough for Fitzroy. Absolutely. No doubt about that, Curls. As Primus does well to get in front of Scotty Wine in that ruck duel. But, uh, very difficult to get the ball away cleanly from these boundary throw-ins. So another ball up. So plenty of these, as we said earlier on in the afternoon. Primus against Scotty Wine. Neither player gets a clean hit away there. Scotty West at the bottom of the pack. Attempted kick off the ground there by Wine. Boyd off the ground. Also, Mick Dwyer chips in, gets a hand pass to Brett Chandler. This is better play by the Lions as Pike comes up from half back. He has plenty of players in support, but kicks long. And the kick really favouring Tony Campbell. So uh, maybe Pike instead of going for the extra kick, could have got the hand pass away to a teammate. Now there's Mickey Dwyer chipping in from that attempted pass from Tony Campbell. And good work there by Mickey Dwyer just to stop that uh, Footscray attack. They could have set something up from the back line. They had five players around the ball here, Fitzroy, and they, they just didn't use the running players. Exactly. They worked well to get in position and Pike ignored them. This is Chandler. Gets a hand pass to Boyd. Boyd over the top to Carter. He can't handle the slippery ball. Chipping in there is... Steve Freddy Hook, and he's tackled when he didn't have possession. So he'll take this free kick for Footscray at half back. Brings the ball out to the member side of the ground, looking for Tony Liberatore and his shadow, Freddy Chandler. And this will probably beat them all over the boundary line. We're a sliding over the boundary line, and we'll see another boundary throw in. Bernie, I agree with you on the, on the discipline side of it. It's very hard to be disciplined when you're not at the end of four games. The club's going to disband and which yeah. go lead by 21 points, 3-6-24, Fitzroy, three behinds, Smith, to Grant, caught, great tackle by Johnson, not rewarded, McCarthy, back to Boyd, up forward line for Fitzroy, kicks wide, Mountain can't get there. It's still a personal thing though, isn't it, with discipline, like, uh, I see young Hargraves coming off now. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a personal thing, and you should have enough pride to, to do the correct things on a football field. Well, um, you must remember, girls, it's also a team game, and yes. you hurt your teammates. Exactly right. Tyson Lane on for Footscray. Hargraves on the phone to the coach. Chance for Morton. Kicks it off the ground. It was a good attempt. Uh, uh, at what? Not much percentage there, like Kevin. Well, really? they're, they're, they're struggling on the scoreboard. He's trying to screw it back. It, it was a good attempt. It wasn't. Uh, it didn't come off. It was a good attempt, Curls. It was a great attempt to kick out of bounds on the full. <laughs> took me Maradona to get that one back from there, Kevin. Back into the front of the goal square. Give the kid a chance. There's Boy, over ball. the top. Second grab couldn't take it. Johnson, long raking handball. Credio won't get a kind bounce today. Kicks it off the ground. Barker slaps it forward. Bamford. 
played every game for the Lions. First season of league football. Freddie Hill just forces the ball forward. Doyle the tackler. So the Bulldog with weight of numbers to Darcy. Right on 50. Great vision. Finds Johnson. Yes, they are looking a lot better uh, for teammates, uh, Fitzgray, than, than the Fitzroy players. Their pinpoint passing has been very, very good in these conditions. Fred Johnson, last year, a Norwich Rising Star nomination. He's played every game. He's booted 11 goals That's for the season. It's a lovely kick. That's a good goal. Under these conditions, that's a very, very good goal. That was a good pass to play by, by Fitzgerald. They worked very hard, centered the ball when they had to. And young Johnson finished it off with a magnificent kick in, in the, with a heavy ball. Yes, we see this in replay. This had to be pinpoint accuracy also from Luke Darcy. Tremendous skills from the big man. Pinpointed it to uh, Brad Johnson. Martin Pike just arriving a little bit too late to do anything about it. So the margin out to 27 points. And Fitzgerald doing all the attacking at the moment. Rain still falling here at the Wooden Oval as the umpire throws the ball into the air. Scotty Wine and Matthew Primus do the ruck work. Pike knocks it out, but uh, Doyle takes a kick which is smothered off the boot. Here's Crediork. Hurry kick away, direct into that centre half forward area. Terrific kick, almost to Mark Dadas. He couldn't control it. Rombotis this way, then that way. Gets a hand pass further afield to John Barker. Barker off his left boot. Should be able to spot Bamford and does it nicely. Liberatore holds him up and he needs to because Chandler's free. That's Liberatore's man. Further afield at half forward is Brett Chandler onto his right boot. Only gets a kick about 15 metres. A pretty poor kick there from Chandler. Taken by Quill, handball to Weirer. And Weirer gets the ball out of defence for the Bulldog towards Jose Romero. And also in uh, the race for the ball is Jason Baldwin. Terrific pick up and a lovely tackle. Some good play all around there. Back to uh, Jason Baldwin on his right boot. Almost over the boundary line, just fiddling around with a bit. You can't afford to go too short here today, but ends up with Danny Morton. Direct kick, long direct kick, looking for Mallington in the four line. Over the top is Campbell. And the umpire has picked out a free kick. Maybe interference there by Tony Campbell on Anthony Mallington. I think we'll see in the replay that uh, the one of his hands on the shoulder here, there it is there. Yes, it's all a over. pretty hard call, but uh, I think it was the correct one. All over him, really, really yeah, wasn't he, Charles? Paul Ford uh, plays in front. He deserves the protection. Mallington's been Fitzroy's leading goal kicker this year. Well, they need this goal badly. They just can't afford the gap to, uh, to creep out anymore. They just must start getting some goals, Fitzroy. So the kick from Mallington, disappointing finish, but the wind is pretty strong there. But A strong westerly wind, and they're not learning their curls, are they? Bernie, you know the wind's there before you've taken your kick, and you, you know you have to aim for the right-hand goalpost. And if you, and if you aim for the centre of the goal, or anything towards the left of that, it's going to carry through the points. And players of this at this standard should know that. Which go by 26 points. Tony Campbell would have been happy with that miss. He has had a goal kicked on him for the last two weeks against Brisbane and Collingwood. Darcy tries to flick it over the back. Libertore burrows in after the ball. Good tactics by Darcy there. That was the correct, correct thing to do. He realised the greasy ball's hard to mark. It's umpire Sam Kroner in charge. I think when you get a two up when battling is struck, you just let it go. Yeah, I agree, girls. Wine. Kicks down Darcy once more as the target. Carter. It's been a wonderful pickup. Looks like he's got a terrific future. Baldwin caught in the sand and they're building sand castles. Pretty hard to play one handed skills today in these conditions. The two hands must be at the ball so the shoulder's coming through behind it. Well just a few moments ago he did a one handed pick up curls and found himself uh, being tackled so he thought he might just try and reproduce it. McCarthy. That's better McCarthy. Attacks the ball. Grant is hard to beat. Strength by McCarthy. Kicked off the ground by Crediel. Hands in the arms of Quill. Johnson flicks it out. Quill forcing the ball around the boundary line. Could be almost and out on the full, was it? Chandler. I think the boundary pile is blind there. He's on the blind side. But that's better work by McCartney to leave his movement late and, and drag Grant to the ball. I think it was out on the full, actually, Curls. It was just uh, the umpire on the blind side, as you said. 
Witchgrave 4, 6, 30. Detroit 4 behinds, 4 points. Hargraves inside 50. Walk the opponent. Pushing and shoving. Desperation from Wharf. He needs support. Collingwood gets there for Footscray. Over the top of the ball. Atkins with quick hands to Bamford to Boyd. The Lions out of trouble. Goes short. Finds Morton. Fitzroy desperate to kick a goal. Just over 13 minutes remaining in the second term. I can remember Bernie Quinlan's first game for Fitzroy. They didn't kick a goal in that first half. This brings back memories, Bernie. Oh, thanks for reminding me, Kevin. Very nice of you. The free kick there was against McCarthy for throwing a ball. And that will have to be taken back, I think. Yes, they, they've made a good play, but uh, the umpire saw the player wasn't clear. Steve Collin off the ground. Tyson Lane comes on for Footscray. So sensible umpiring there to bring that ball back when the advantage, advantage wasn't there. So Steve Wallace... The veteran of this Footscray side gets the kick away long to send half forward. No one can take the mark. Very greasy conditions here at the Witten Oval. From Bottas, almost ridden into the ground there, but the umpire says nothing doing. And will come in and ball it up. I'm surprised young Colin has been taken off. Must be for a message because I thought he was a pretty effective player on that half forward line. Ten possessions, also kicked the goal. Uh, from this ball up, it's taken by Chandler. Real goal for Fitzroy is Brady Chandler. Chris Johnson had it for a long time. The hand pass there coming from the skipper, Brad Boyd, to Martin Pike. Pike gets it to Johnson, who can't handle the greasy ball. And a turnover here for Fitzroy. A high tackle and the free kick going to Steve Collingham. They just don't uh, use their sorry. numbers, uh, Bernie. Fitzroy are not using their numbers. They've got numbers around the ball when they go forward. That's the third occasion this quarter and they haven't used them. Yeah, so pretty Ox switches play across the ground. Oh, Jose, that's dangerous. When you stand there and wait for the ball like that, Curls, you really give the opposition a sniff. You do. Back to Crediok. The handball from Crediok finds Tony Campbell. Around the member side of the ground come the Bulldogs. And keep it long in front of the grandstand. Darcy working his way to the front and will probably earn this free kick against John Barker. Yes, that's a two occasions there. And Barker's been caught out by manhandling. And Luke Darcy having a, a fairly big impact on this game playing at half forward for the Bulldogs. Doing pretty well. Looking for some movement in that forward line. Probably go towards the Hargrave direction. He does. Hargrave's in front of Wharf. Can't take the mark. Very difficult to take the mark in these conditions here at the Witten Oval. Very greasy, especially with the defender coming over the back and attempting to punch that ball away. So another ball up on the 50-metre mark. Footscray's attacking zone. Footscray by 26 points, 4 6 30. Detroit full behind, 4 points. Quill. Gets around Baldwin. Sets up Liberatore. Slippery conditions, Wine. Plenty of support. They've got the numbers, Fitzgerald. Tyson Lane to West. Great tackle by Pike. Darcy bowled over. Fitzroy now. Just starting to flex the muscles. Smith on the ground. Morton over the top. Good pressure. Fitzroy won a free kick. They'll get a ball up. Good pressure by the Fitzroy boys. They really kept at him. Probably just overusing the handball yeah, there too with foot rate, don't you think? They had just possession of the ball and probably just one handball too many. Primus. Short kick off the ground, Crediel. There's no distance. The fist from Wine does. Doyle slides under the ball. Cameron over the top. We've got a ball up. They just haven't got that little bit of class which would have break clear and set up possession. Barker. Half back line to Dwyer. The ex-Saint has it punched away by Rowan Smith. So with just 10 minutes of action left in the second term, which grade 4, 6, 30, Fitzroy still yet to kick a goal as Steve Collingham warms up on the boundary line and ready to come back into the action. There's Jason Watt coming up for the Bulldogs and Steve Collingham coming back on. So from that boundary throne, we're coming to see a free kick awarded, and it goes to Matthew Primus against Scotty Wine. Some ironic cheers there from the uh, Fitzroy supporters. This is Martin Pike. Gets a handball over Simon Atkins. So a good switch of play there by the Lions. Bring the ball out to the member side of the ground, which is the attacking yeah. side of the ground. And I think there's some ironic cheers there also for McCarthy as he takes his first mark. Good work there by Rowan Smith getting in front, working his way in front of Mickey Dwyer. And forcing the ball over the boundary line. It was better work by McCarthy though, um, Bernie. He, he was leading too early before allowing Grant to cover him. Now he's leaving his move a bit later. 
the big two go at it again wide and primus off the ground for the bulldogs and that will be forced over the boundary line off the ground there from tony campbell the foot straight full back so fitzroy still fighting hard to get their first goal on the board nine and a half minutes remaining in this first half very very difficult conditions slippery and windy that early shower has made it very difficult for the players to control the ball this is Callet trying to force the ball out of the uh, defensive area for, for the Footscray side. Brad Boyd, terrific work to get the ball out. Goes for a short kick to a player who's really manned, and that was Primus. Primus can't do much with it. Taken by Scott West. A long hurry kick out of defence taken by Cameron. Good take too by Leon Cameron. And here's a player with a bit of space. It's Brett Johnson on that outer side of the ground. Good chase by Barker to bring him down. This is Hargraves. A lovely take by Hargraves around his body on the left foot. There's real danger now for Fitzroy. Freddie Hook can take this ball. But Fitzroy with numbers get back there. Again, it's good to Johnson. The hurry kick around his body. Colin Hook in front of Atkins. Oh, he's dangerous. Well, he really had to do something with that kick. There was about four Fitzroy players inside that 50 metre zone, unattended, and he couldn't find one of them. But uh, Fitzroy on the rebound. This is Danny Morton, a little former uh, Adelaide player. Gets it long into the forward line. And Mellington out on the lead. Couldn't take the mark. And we see another boundary throw in around about 15 metres from the Fitzroy point post. Gee, chapter, chapter of errors there. Wasn't it? Well, I should have centered that ball better than that. I just slipped off the side of his boot. And then, of course, Fitzroy with, Fitz, Fitzroy with numbers clear. Once again, didn't finish their work. Which grade 4, 6, 30, still lead by 26 points. Fitzroy yet to kick a goal. Just four behinds, three in the first term, one in the second quarter. Centre wing position. Ramiro kicks off the ground, grabs some distance. Fitzroy are preventing, they're preventing Footscray from scoring in the last, say, 10 minutes, but they just, they just can't get through that tough Footscray defence. Darcy versus Barker. Darcy, taken away by Pike. Just slaps it onto the boot. And a free kick for in the back. A bit too early, that one. And this against Danny Morton there, the free kick. Stevie Wallace playing his 257th game today. He's been a fine player, an ex-captain. Finished second and third at their best and fairest. And big Ilya Gwickick comes on. Ooh. It's a double change and coming on is Robert McMahon for his first game of AFL football from Gippsland Power. So a big moment for the kid, number 15 for Fitzroy. Charges onto the field. Footscray with a chance. Tyson Lane to Grant down from centre half back. He's kicked it. Very strong run from Grant there. Took the, took the risk to come down. And uh, he really powered through that uh, forward area there and broke the tackle. And, of course, he's all class, that boy. Oh, he is, Curls. There's no doubt about that. He's a terrifically uh, dedicated player as well. And here he is following up. Precious a good give there by Tyson Lane. And what a wonderful finish there from Chris Grant. So it's Footscray 5, 6, 36. And Fitzroy... Four behinds, four points. Still trying hard to get their first goal on the board. Mickey Dwyer takes the ball out of the centre. He's tied up. Romero also tries to get the hurry kick away. Chris Johnson, away he goes. Shows the ball to Weir and then runs around him. He's got a tremendous burst of pace, Chris Johnson. Here's a chance for the Lions' first goal. Not quite. Just misses to the right. But good, exciting, dashing play there by Chris Johnson. Getting the ball out of the middle and taking on a couple of defenders. Yes, he, he really did take on his course. With, with a pace like that, it does give you confidence. Tony Campbell bring the ball in for Footscray. A long kick to the outer side of the ground looking for Scotty Wine. A punch comes from Matthew Primus. Discipline play by Primus. Eventually spills to Mickey Dwyer who finds Martin Pike on the lead. So Pike will be kicking from around about 60 metres out. Fitzroy kicking to the Geelong Road end of the ground. And getting back and taking the mark. There may be a free kick anyway. Yes it is to Tony Campbell. Interference there by Mallington. Freddie Hook's uh, really got plenty of room out at half back to do what he likes. Gets around Mellington very easily, then kicks long and finds Darcy. Terrific kick out of defence by Freddie Hook. Darcy plays on, doesn't waste any time. Around his body, Cameron in front of, of uh, Peter Doyle. Gets a hand pass away. He probably could have taken Doyle on there, and maybe that could be deemed as deliberate, no? 
I think I think his intention was to find the line, but gee, it was a pretty tough call to pick him on that one. So Prime is having a spell also. Chandler back on the ground for Fitzroy. Then we throw in. Fitzgray's attacking zone around about 60 metres from the Fitzgray goal. Scotty West takes the ball out of the ruck, can't do anything with it. He's tied up. Peter Doyle gets a hand pass to Chris Johnson. Chris Johnson who had a chance to get Fitzroy's first goal, but missed to the right. Ricky Dwyer making all the play. Gets a handball back to Martin Pike. Pike doing quite well for the Lions. A left foot kick around his body. Would have been very difficult for those players looking into the sun. Danny Morton just has a bit of time. He can use the ball pretty effectively, yeah. Danny Morton, and does it this time. Finds Anthony Mellington on the lead. It's a good call there, Bernie. Players looking into the sun like two minutes ago. Yep. It was raining. It's amazing. Uh, it's it's very difficult. Weather in this city, you people live in. <laughs> very difficult this side of the ground at the Western Oval once that sun comes out, girls. I think that if they could just burst through for a goal, Fitzroy, they, they are handling the ball better now. And if they could just burst through for a goal, it would give them a big lifting confidence. Mellington, 40 metres out, yep. uses a breeze beautifully and kicks Fitzroy's first goal. And, uh, Dwyer is, uh, is going to find some football across that half forward line. He's been pretty active with Fitzroy in the last uh, four or five minutes. And that was a nice setup there. And Mellington a beautiful kick for goal. It's a lovely pass, wasn't it, from Danny Morton? Yes, man. We'll see, right on. We'll see it again. Morton with a bit of room there to manoeuvre. He has got terrific skills, Danny Morton, and a lovely lead there from Anthony Mellington. Campbell, a bit, a little bit lazy there, Campbell. He's anticipating a longer kick, I think. Detroit by 25 points, 1-5-11, 5-6-36. Five and a half minutes action left in the second turn, Bamford. So maybe the Lions have a sniff. Down to 50, hands and knees, Morton. Fitzroy player in the back will take the free kick. Is this Fitzroy Baldwin. player hurt too? I think it's Baldwin. Jason Baldwin. Yes. I think you find uh, when you get the football, it's amazing how quickly they get up. Yeah. Gives it back to Bamford. He looks to be in some sort of trouble. Yeah. Mellington's the target. Got his hands on it. Couldn't hang on to it. Fitzroy wanted a free kick to their skipper Boyd. Taken away by West. Finds Credit Hook. Rockets the ball back to West. Puts him under pressure. Does well. Oh, kicking in danger. Dwyer again. Well, there's a bit of courage shown by two yeah. players there. Firstly, Scotty West and also Mickey Dwyer putting his body over the, over yes. the ball to protect it. Mickey Dwyer. He's lifted pitch with his boy. Played 80 games at St Kilda. Just trying to make his mark with Fitzroy. Credit or try to claim the mark. I thought I'd like to a replay again. It was pretty close to a mark, wasn't it, Kemp? Well, it was well he front. wanted to claim it. He was in front. We may see a replay. No replay. So, ball up on 50. Primus. Beach wind. Baldwin. Looks to have recovered. Kellett. Dances around. Hand passes a wild one. Finds Johnson, who's been the star. This is his 15th possession. Beautiful kick to Collingwood. Trying to take it on the half volley. He's got support out wide. Wallace, the veteran. To Griggy. No mark. Body's going in hard. McMahon over the top. First game of league football, number 15 for Fitzroy. That goal has lifted Fitzroy. They're, uh, they're applying a bit more pressure now. It was good work by McMahon, wasn't it, yeah. to uh, put the pressure on Big Ilya? Right, screen. Ricky. Beautiful tap down, taken away by Doyle. Back towards the edge of the centre square. Wind. Builds the wall. The hand pass was poor. Where has got plenty of time to recover. Scrappy old kick. Pike. Tough as nails. Back to Bamford. He's got class. Tups the ball back to 50. One-on-one -on -one duel. Smith versus Rombotus. Hands and knees. Boyd does well. Wallace. For Kutchgray. Back inside the centre square. Grant. Desperate. And we've got a ball up. It's good desperate stuff by Chris Grant. He's going to take that mark. And the ball up. Scotty Wine works his way to the front. Can't do much with it. There he is fighting hard though, Scotty Wine. At the bottom of the back, terrific. Well, Johnson gets a hand pass out to Peter Quill. He's got a bit of time to steady. He looked for Hargraves, but beaten for that ball there by Rowan Wolf playing centre-half back and playing it pretty well. And Rowan Wolf gets a long hand pass to Atkins. Yeah, he's almost collared there by Scotty Wine, but uh, has a bit of time to get his kick away. Oh, he's a classy player on the side. Chris Grant, look at that. And look at the delivery to uh, Brad Johnson. Well done, Chris Grant at halfback. He's all over McCarthy at the moment. 
and the kick finds the big fella, big Ilya Grigic, and he's taken this mark around about 45 metres out from goal. So Ilya Grigic came on to replace Tony Liberatore. Fitzroy was forced to make the change because Chandler was picking up Liberatore and brought on McMahon. There's a kick from big Ilya Grigic. And again, a disappointing result. And he misses well to the left. So uh, big Ilya Grigic, that's his first score for the afternoon. His height down there, uh, if it stays fine, will worry Fitzroy. Absolutely. So the kick in there from Matthew Dent to the outer side of the ground finds Martin Pike. He's got a bit of time to steady, get around on his right foot and find either Dwyer or Bamford. Bamford leaves it for Dwyer. Dwyer in front gets a hand pass, but goes wide and playing around the outer side of the ground, fairly close to the boundary line. Pike with a long left foot kick. There's not many options when you come that wide, Curls. No, it's, uh, it's playing an offensive... Um pattern or defensive pattern a lot easier for them to cover that little area so west only a minute and a half remaining in this first half terrific mark there by luke darcy in front not wasting any time gets a hand pass to freddie up down from half back he goes for the short pass well over hargrave's head out in front now is jason white in front of matthew dent hand passes to hargrave's looking for hargrave's of missing him taken by peter doyle wharf barker dent Fitzroy work their way out of defence and move the ball around towards Martin Pike on the other side of the ground. Here's Bamford chipping in two on one. Fitzroy should win out here. Pike and Bamford. Oh, they managed to mess it up. Managed to mess it up. And Pike is caught holding the ball. Two on one. Usually wins out KB, but not on this occasion. With perseverance there by the Putsmo boys. So Kellett has got a loose player. That's Darcy. And handy player, Luke Darcy. He's had 10 possessions, he's taken six marks. Kellett. Kicks the ball inside 50. Grigic does well for a big man. Take away by Johnson, falls over that critical moment. Primus, good vision to Bamford. Been a very handy player, the kick's a poor one. Marked by Chris Grant. Yeah, uh, he's just, <laughs> anything that comes within his reach, he's just mopping up this boy. Well, you would think he was a forward, Curls, wouldn't you? Because he's yeah. led uh, McCarthy with the ball on most occasions. He, he reads the play so well. Back of the pack, trying to crash his way through was Darcy. 65 metres out from Footscray's goal as the siren sounds. To end a very good half by Footscray. 5-7-37, a 26-point lead. Detroit 1-5.